and this is Africa. Who'd have thought? We docked up in Richards Bay, did all the Covid testing, passports and formalities. Nice dock, then round to the Zululand Yacht Club. We got fed up sitting in Richards Bay in amongst the strip malls and the restaurants so we thought let's go and see Africa. Where are we? <laughs> there are only 21 more miles on this unmade up road. But not to worry, the off-road capabilities of rental cars are just amazing. Hey, these look like that big stupid thing that's on Star Wars. No, not Mr. Spock. The one with the ears, the big stupid thing. Yeah, that's the guy. Good morning everybody. For the non-yachters amongst you, we're going to have a quick Blue Peter moment. So we've got sticky bag plastic and the bottom squeezy. No, really, here's what's happening. Okay, so this is the smooth waters heading round from Richards Bay to Cape Town. Nice and smooth because the wind and the current are going the same direction. However, if the wind and the current are against each other, what happens is your nice smooth sea builds giant waves, up to 20 metres they say, but that's exceptional. Jings, Crippens, help my bob. We're all getting a bit sporty. And stuck her head up and took a wave in the face. <laughs> so she's away to get changed. It wasn't a perfect forecast and there was uh, what 12 hours of upwind against the current, but we did brilliantly. And we left Richards Bay, heading for Durban, then next up East London, Port Elizabeth, which in the end we skipped round the corner to Cape Town. The white stripe is the Agulhas current, and that's what you want to try and catch to get wheeled around the coast. But if the wind's running against it, just go to the pub and watch a rugby. And then in the middle of nowhere we meet Jerome and Hugo. Motor sailing Bolero down to Durban as fast as they can before it sinks. They had a bit of a leaking problem. Entering Durban Harbour. 90 miles since 4 o'clock this morning. She's in black right here. And on the left, the start of the docks. And on the right, the start of the housing. Apparently this, this used to be millionaires row, but the millionaires have all moved out apparently. Durban got a bit of a bad press from the guys up north. Well in fact, most places got a bit of a bad press, mostly from personal security point of view. Let's see how it shapes up. Paperwork as usual, but the first thing that struck you at Durban is the stink. Bit of a leak from their sewage plant. But this is the beach, and all looking quite attractive. Well, that was Durban, and I'm afraid we weren't inspired to take many photographs, and I fear it did deserve its bad press. Bit of a shame we didn't see much, but it was a stopping point. And on we go, out from the docks and south. Early morning, day two. I've been listening to a podcast about Chernobyl overnight. I hope this isn't it. If it all get a bit too rough outside, if you headed inside the 200 metre line, as close as you dare really, and the sea's got a lot flatter, quite comfortable. A bit slower though. And this is dawn in East London. Just, just come in and pick up the trot mooring. Oh, lovely. Only had a brief stop in East London, but it was very pretty, parked in the river. Then before you know it, it's time to go again. Lying in bed, I've been wondering what the 
content for this video might be that might be vaguely of interest and I thought maybe what you'd be interested in is the Doctor Who factor. The what? Yeah, the Doctor Who factor. Where do they go to the loo? And says what's that got to do with Doctor Who? Everybody wonders where the bog is on the TARDIS. Well for ours, it's down below. And look at that, that's a first oil skins. We haven't had oil skins out since Tasmania, I don't think. Outrage. And we even wore them last night. So this is the head. And one of the lovely things about our head is that not only is it a well-equipped head with the latest in yachting comics, but it's a room with a view. And the wonderful thing about being close to the shore is you can get a signal. So Anne is chatting to the grandchildren and to Peter and Steel Sapphire who's trying to get on our coattails and see if he can beat the weather window around here. The challenge is to get around the corner before the wind goes completely nuts. We've got this traffic separation zone here to watch out for. So the question is, do we go inside or outside? I think we'll go outside. We're approaching the traffic separation zone at Cape Agulhas. And this guy's cutting it a bit fine. back there, that's often wheel, oh, wheel is a wheel, is that what we're looking at? Oh, here they come, how come, oh there they are, there we are, <laughs> hello guys, They're all leaping around in the other cloud, and I'm sitting here. Well, there's a regular crowd coming in. The next morning we got a real show though. Hundreds of them turned up. So after a day of whale and dolphin action, we finally started closing on Cape Agulhas, getting ready to turn the corner and head for Cape Town, right into the wind acceleration zone. Buckle up everybody.
out from under the table then. <laughs> it all went a bit quiet and we thought, oh brilliant. Flat water to get into the marina. Yeah, that chance. Oh, it's dirty now. They go in here, terrific. 30 knots, brilliant. But we're here in the V and A marina, surrounded by restaurants and bars and coffee shops. Just perfect. Thanks for watching. And if you really liked it, give us a thumbs up, it'll help the numbers.